Hello friends and family and welcome to 100 Huntley Street or the Crippling Anxiety Meditation Fireside Chat. Today I wanted to talk about um, an idea which for some reason sounds better in Hindi as uh, Sab Samai um, but in English uh, it would just be all the time. The idea that you can be meditating all the time. And in particular, one monk uh, who is a part of the Vipassana tradition, who taught Vipassana but in a very uh, peculiar way, um, he taught it entirely through Anapan meditation. Um, he advocates for this idea and he advocates um, not toward other monks, although uh, he does that as well, but primarily toward householders, lay people. Uh, the monk's name is Wibu Saita, and he uh, is curious in that he, first of all, taught householders at a time when this was uncommon in Burma. But in addition to that, he would teach very, very simply. Um, his instruction took little more than five or ten minutes at a time, and it was always roughly the same. You follow the breath just under the nostrils, going in, coming out, continuously. You follow the sensation of the breath under the nostrils, going in, coming out, and you do that for as long as you possibly can. He makes a couple of arguments for this. One is that while you are doing this, if you're doing it correctly, you cannot have any evil thoughts enter into your head. and. This is sort of fundamentally true. If your entire attention is on the breath, you won't be thinking about hurting anybody or stealing something or saying the wrong thing, um, largely because you won't be thinking much of anything at all. You would have your entire attention on the breath. Um, and this is a sort of higher level understanding that um, anapan meditation, when done in its totality, prevents you from any wrongdoing. Um, but at a, at a lower level, a more accessible level, he would instruct lay people to come to his very simple monastery. Um, he was given a monastery uh, and it was built in one day, apparently, because that's all uh, he allowed the lay people to. Um, to build for. They insisted on building him a monastery. He said, you have 24 hours. Um, so uh, the lay people would come to his monastery and listen to him and he would instruct. And the instruction was basically follow the breath continuously. If your legs are aching, you continue following the breath. If you are uh, feeling sleepy, you continue following the breath. And you sit and you meditate for as long as you can. But what, then when you get up, from meditation. You go to do your chores, you go to take care of your children, you go to have a meal, you go to sleep, um, you go to work, you continue, you follow the breath. And his argument is that it doesn't take any extra energy. Um, if you're doing this correctly, that you can continue to follow the breath in all activities throughout your life, 24 hours a day. And it is very difficult, obviously, but it's an interesting idea and I would encourage you to play with it. Um, we are not disciples of Wibhu Saita, at least none of us that I can think of are, um, and we may not attempt to follow his instruction as strictly as he gives it, um, but he uh, provides an interesting um, metaphor or simile, I'm not sure, 
um, for the attention on the breath. And his description in one of his discourses, one of his lectures, is uh, it's a back and forth between him and, and one of um, the lay people who comes to him. Um, he asks how you start a fire with um, kindling. And uh, in the process of rubbing kindling to start a fire, can you just stop at any point and return to it whenever you want? And of course, the lay people say, no, you can't do that. You have to do it continuously and you have to build the heat to start the flame. And he says, yes, exactly. This is how you have to meditate. You have to meditate continuously on the breath and you have to keep doing it and keep doing it until the flame is lit. And then you've, you've begun. That's the fire is going and, um, and you will carry on from there. And again, I, I think that this is quite a high uh, stage that he's describing where you are meditating absolutely continuously. You've lit a sort of fire where you can't possibly not pay attention to the breath and the space under the nostrils. Um, but it's an interesting idea and I have played with it before. So sometimes, um, while preparing dinner, instead of listening to a podcast or otherwise entertaining myself um, or just letting my mind wander, I'll try to maintain awareness of the breath for the 45 minutes that it takes me to prepare a meal. Or uh, you go to have a bath and you can continue to follow the breath while you have a bath. Or especially if you're working at a computer, it tends to be quite easy um, to follow the breath while you're working on other things. Um, and it can help you realize just how distracted your mind is to try to maintain this awareness um, in the background while everything else is going on. Um, the lectures or the uh, short discourses given by Wibhu Saita are actually available in a book. Um, the book is entitled The Way to Ultimate Calm. Um, and he makes very little reference to Vipassana. Only one of his lectures does he actually mention that Anapana, once you reach this stage of having lit the fire, um, Vipassana happens automatically at that point. Um, but otherwise, he is only impressing upon the lay people over and over again, these very simple instructions for anapana meditation and continuous practice and um, the idea of using anapan to uh, support your wholesome actions. So if you're trying in one aspect of your life to maintain wholesome actions, to do the right thing, to act in the right way, to speak in the right way, then on the other hand, you can practice anapana meditation whenever possible, as often as possible, continuously if possible, and that these two things will support each other. Um, I'll actually link today at the end of this video to two other videos about Wibhu Saita. If you're interested in hearing about him and his life, it's uh, perhaps a bit strange for a monk. Um, and uh, you, um, you can listen to those, though there won't be any uh, mention of his discourses in them, unfortunately, if you want to, um, to hear his discourses or to read his discourses, you would need to buy uh, the book, The Way to Ultimate Calm. May, uh, may almost, uh, may also be available as a PDF for free online, I'm not sure. Uh, that's it for today, for Friday. I will have a slightly longer conversation for you tomorrow. I hope you're all taking care of yourselves and taking care of each other. And we will see you tomorrow for that conversation. Goodbye.